Yo, welcome back to Top Cat Gaming. Another arc video and another day. So today I've decided to craft up some stuff for a crafting station because uh, honestly I'm getting tired of living out of forges, these stone forges. They, they cook the metal up in good time and obviously we get the wood burnt and that in the process but nothing's better than an industrial forge and you know, everything in front of it. Um, I haven't got enough to make chem benches, so I was going to throw in me getting some organic poly from a cheeky little spot on this map. And it's not getting it from the crab stock I showed last video. Was it last video? Maybe. Can't remember now. But yeah. Was it last video? <laughs> no, I don't know. But yeah, let's jump into it, yeah? Um, I'm gonna montage me building a crafting station, so let's go. Okay, so where do I get more organic poly from? So I always head towards that plateau as you can see in the distance on the left and um, I kind of fly back on myself and then sort of turn into redwoods as you see in the distance there's like a cliff edge so I, I head towards that and on the right a little bit more it's not around here, it's a little bit more around the corner You'll see a cave entrance, it's got a little bit of crystal on the, the outside, kind of gives it away for me. There it is, right here. So, I always head in here, it's, a, it's full of bees, beehives, and dripping honey. It's pretty cool in there, right? Look how cool this is. So, I always head down to the bottom because I always find it easier just, to just chill down there. Yeah, so if you come down here, you use a pick, you get loads of honey and a little bit of poly. If you use a hatchet, you get a load of poly and a little bit of honey. So, yeah, smack away. The bees will come after you. Don't let them stun you, because they'll, uh, yeah, that, they'll mess you up pretty quickly. <laughs> so just have the, the wyvern or whatever you're on on standby. And uh, they're, they're not hard to kill. Just don't, like I say, don't let them touch you. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to jump into the next part, which I think I'm going to hatch a wyvern. Am I? Yeah, I need a, I need an imprinted wyvern. I am kind of fed up with uh, being on this. Uh, these these are good for getting eggs and stuff, but you know, yeah. I need I need to upgrade. It's upgrading day, all right. Let me upgrade. Don't judge. All right, see you in a sec. Right, so it's going to hatch any second now. There we go. We have a baby blood crystal wyvern. It took me a little while to um, get used to them. I used to call them all crystal wyverns. <laughs> and uh, it didn't help knowing which one was which when I was talking to people. But... Uh, stats ain't too bad. Could be better. So let's get this guy raised up. And uh, yeah. I'm going to throw it outside. Where there's a little bit more space. But yeah, we have ourselves a crystal woven. 
So I do have a little tip for you for raising these guys. I know uh, the imprints can be a bit iffy if you haven't got the, uh, the crystals for imprints. So just keep a cryopod on you for when it's ready to imprint. And if you get the primal crystal imprint, just cry it back up, throw it back out, and uh, yeah, hopefully get a cuddle or a walk. So yeah, just keep a cryopod on you, and you should be golden. Alright, so I'm just uh, over at the snow biome. If you're not aware, there's uh, cave drops on land in the snow biome. There's one just below me there. Um, it wasn't there so I couldn't show it but if you just fly directly towards all of these uh, I'll call them orbs just fly it towards this big cluster of crystal and orbs um, right next to the right hand side of these huge sparky crystals I don't know how to explain it but if you just keep flying forward Right next to that orb to my left, there's another drop, and it's actually here. Bonus. So this is this, this is a little bit awkward to land. I've done it first time. Trust me, to do it first time when I say it's awkward to land. <laughs> what we've we got? Not bad, not bad. I need a compound bow anyway. Yet. Right. So the next one is directly in front of me, but you got to fly it over this first orb. This is the chords for this one. I'm going to put the chords in the district description, okay? So, I want to fly directly up and over this uh, orb. You can get black pearls from inside them, by the way, as well. And it's not... Is it this one? Yes, I think it's this one. Yeah, you can just see the, the drop to my right just down there, look. So I just run over there and grab this one as well. It's pretty cool. Um, you get yellow ones and red ones. I've never seen any other colour. They're not always grey as you can see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll take that. A Yuti saddle is not too bad. And this next one's a little bit further away. Um, I'll, I'll still get lost trying to find this one. So, you just gotta fly the way I'm looking. Alright? <laughs> so, fly the way I'm looking. You gotta fly to. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. There's no point in explaining that now. Because uh, we'll all get confused. I'll get confused, you'll get confused, and we'll just be a confused mess. Won't we? <laughs> Right, we can see in the distance, there's like an arch with crystals coming out the top. So we want to head directly towards there. I know you, um, I had to clip some bits out because uh, there's a red drop in it, it's inside the map. So, you still head the same direction, but yeah, just head towards this arch and you fly under it. Uh, uh. So I'll, I'll just blue screen, so I'm flying under this again. And you'll find this guy just to the left hand side a little bit, a little bit further underneath the arch. Oh, nice! Got a compound bow. An improved one from that journeyman one. Um, I actually need a compound bow, so I'm actually happy about that. And this is where this one is, like I said. The, the chords are going to be in the description below. So hopefully I can run this again and all of the drops will be there and I'll just uh, throw it in where where the other one is. Sometimes it's on top of a rock, sometimes there's no rock there. But uh, yeah. There is more, but some of them are inside rocks, so they're really hard to find. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helps. So let's uh, jump into the next part, yeah? So as you can see, I've got the chem benches made. I've just put a uh, Jenny next to the chem benches, so I don't have to run cables all over the shot. Um, another thing I've noticed as well is uh, the drop that go drops down in the middle of my base. Just won't, it won't let me build. <laughs> it won't let me build. 
So I can't extend the crafting station, so I've probably got two options. I can either move it or try and you know cheek be a cheeky get and uh, persuade the admins or at least uh, try and get the admins to uh, allow building their drops. Um, I'll probably know the answer because uh, people like to block drops. But uh, it's, it is what it is. I'll, I'll grind out for a new forge and stuff and move to the other end where I know I can build it. It's kind of a, a blessing in disguise, I guess, because uh, I want to keep Thames this side anyway, so. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm just crafting up some fridges and some vaults for the base just so I can upgrade and get things sorted out a little bit more I've done the bookshelves and cryo fridges, I need cryo fridges so that'll be next on the agenda then I guess we start getting gigas and stuff yeah why not let's not think too far ahead because uh, knowing me I'll, uh, I'll get distracted and do something else so I'm going to finish doing all of this and I guess the next episode I'll probably be looking for gigas and stuff and uh, upgrading the wyvern army and get breeding them so I hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, if you did drop a like uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, feel free to uh, subscribe for future content. That's if you enjoy what you're watching. Um, I'm going to try and make a good series out of this. I'm actually getting really into it. I used to struggle thinking of uh, things to do and say and, you know, anxiety stuff, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually enjoying this. I've enjoyed being uh, doing my own thing, taking, taking things at my own pace. So yeah, if you enjoy it as well, ring that bell. Um, I'm also struggling to find instrumental music for background music. I like to have a bit of background music uh, in the background because uh, my PlayStation's a little bit noisy. It doesn't shut up basically. So blame the PlayStation for any instrumental music in the background. That uh, probably doesn't suit what I'm doing. <laughs> But yeah, uh, if anyone's got any suggestions, like copyright free, obviously, I can't have anything uh, like Jay Z or whatnot, you know. Because uh, YouTube doesn't like it, it tells me off for uh, playing music that isn't copyright free. But yeah, if you've got any suggestions or know anywhere where to grab any good background music or anything that you've heard that you like to listen to, Feel free to uh, whack it in the comments or hit me up on uh, Twitter. Um, my Twitter links in the description as well. Or join my Discord and drop some music in the music channel. I'll appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Right? Bye bye.